controlled. So the gap between what this product can actually do today and what it can maybe hopefully do someday in the ideal future are, it, it is massive. They're, they're massively far apart. And so that that's really my main issue. There seems to be a bit of a lost art in waiting for a tech product to be actually finished before announcing and unveiling it. Like, do you remember when tech companies would unveil a brand new tech product that they've been working on and then do a demo? And then the next slide was like, this thing is going on sale tomorrow or next week or something like that. And that hype would carry right into the buying cycle. You remember that? That was sick. But now in this age of all of these AI products, it's like, there's this thing where you end up selling the dream before you sell the actual product. And that is dangerous. Like the promise of AI is so huge and so massive and magnificent and awesome, but is also so clearly not done yet that you end up with stuff like the Humane Pin or even the Rabbit R1, for example, or heck, even Apple Intelligence, where you have these big promises, but the capabilities are still over here while the promise is all the way over here. And I'm trying to figure out why they do that. And I think really there's two main reasons. And believe it or not, I think Tesla self-driving is a really 